thousands of families will be affected by decisions made in Springfield, and I'm glad that we have a governor who is looking out for working families. Our state for some time, quite a while, has uh, provided uh, financial assistance to working families who are modest income in order to help them afford their child care. I can't think of a higher priority in Illinois. Unfortunately, there's some in the legislature who thought this is something you could cut in half, that we don't really need the kind of investment in child care that Illinois has had. Now, I don't think that's right. I don't think anybody in this room thinks it's right. And so we're really here this month on a battle for the soul of Illinois. What, what are our priorities? Are we going to take care of these children? Or are we going to say that uh, it's OK to bungle their childhood? I don't think so. The strongest force on earth is right here in this room. It's when people of good faith get together for the cause of the common good, not the political insider's good. We give more tax breaks in Illinois to those who raise thoroughbred horses than we give to those parents raising kids. And we've got to change that. We've got to make sure that we stand up for kids and their parents. Working families, they need childcare in order for that parent to go to work and have confidence that their children are safe and sound. My child back in August when he first started attending here wasn't able to speak much. He had 10 to 15 words to say. That's it. He was four years old. Thanks to Erie, they provided speech therapy. Now, 10 months later, he is able to speak clearly, say three word sentences, but he has much more to go. Cutting funding will deprive him from this. He will be left behind, and we don't want that. Not for my child, and not for anyone else's child. I've been part of Merle Lock House since I was seven years old, and it helped me a great deal living in the community that I lived in. It kept me off the streets. I wasn't a teen mom too soon. I'm in college, and I'm just doing uh, the same for my children. And Merle Lock would be there for me. If not, my kids would be on the streets. It's really going to be a decision made in Illinois. Are we going to go backwards? Or are we going to stand up for child care? We're going to stand up. You've got to be in power for something that's important. You've got to, you know, you just can't be in power for itself, for maintaining power. You've got to have causes that count, that really count for real people, people who don't have friends in high places. That's what I've done all my life. I believe in standing up for everyday people who don't have champions, who don't have. Uh, inside connections. All of us, whether we live in Chicago or the suburbs or downstate, anywhere in Illinois, we've got to band together right now to make sure that our children get a fair shake and our working moms and dads, they get a fair shake.